one and all, and welcome to another edition of Outside the Ropes for the first time ever on a Monday night. We are now changing from a normal weekly show to a everyday daily show. I'm your host of Outside the Ropes as always, Matthew Murray, and if you're tuning in for the first time tonight, hello and welcome to the studio. I am joined in the studio, which I'm very surprised he's actually here because it's a Monday. Tony, you came in for the first ever weekly edition of Outside the Ropes. Are you feeling alright? Yeah, I just want to prove a point that I can be here when I want to. Okay, uh, I don't think you'll be here on Wednesday for the one hour special, but if you are, I think I'll actually faint in the studio. Promise? I won't. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll see that. I won't. You, tell you what you could do, if you turn up on Wednesday, you can think of something to do for me to do in the studio as a as a bet, and you can take a picture of it and put it on our Facebook. Okay. Anything, well, within reason. No, 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 you said it looks like... <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> no, you probably like, have me sitting here like naked or something with a Mexican hat on or something. No, just eat my toenail clippings or something. Oh, I don't even go away. <laughs> Get away from the start. Anyway, moving on. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first edition. Um, we haven't been on a Monday for actually a long, long time. We used to be on a Monday uh, about two years ago when the show first started when we were on uh, a local radio station. But we're now back on, well, this time on a daily basis. For to give you the latest news on this day of the world of professional wrestling. First things first, let's get to it, Tony. Finally, our website is officially launched. It actually does look quite well. It's looking quite yeah. snazzy, and we must uh, say to the guys who built the site, thank you very much. Um, it is taking time, but it is there now. The web address is now outside the ropes radio.com. It looks really well. Yeah, and it's updated daily, every day, sometimes twice a day, with all the latest news of wrestling. Now, I did make an announcement on behalf of the show this past Friday about obviously the show changing. But uh, yeah, for all your latest scoops and of wrestling, go to our website outside the radio dot com. Excuse me, I'm full of wind tonight. <laughs> I uh, just had a nice big dinner before I come on the air tonight. Lovely. It was beautiful actually. It was made by Catherine too. Hey, where's my dinner? <laughs> you come in late. Uh, also on our Twitter account, at Outside the Rope, and also on Facebook. Tony, we've only got a couple of minutes, about 15 minutes tonight on the air. Um, some things have been happening over the last few days have been quite interesting, but we're going to get into it really, really shortly. I just want to give a wee quick shout-out to our partners and friends uh, of Outside the Ropes. Uh, Wrestling's Past, I know you've been on them quite a lot since we talked about it last Wednesday on your smartphone. Yes, I have. I've been on it. Quite a bit. Yeah. Guys, we're historians of wrestling. Uh, wrestling's Past is the location. Their website is on our website, which is wrestlingspast.blogspot.co.uk and on Twitter at Wrestling's Past. Also, Tony, uh, I want to give a big shout out to the staff and um, obviously the members of staff who are organising a big event coming up on the night of WWE Fastlane, uh, the Fly Bar in Belfast. Hopefully, for, um, we're in the middle of negotiation with. Uh, the location itself for outside the ropes to go along to the fly this oh, two weeks away for the fast lane pay per view. That would be interesting. I think it'll be mix and mingle with other fans as well. But we'll give you more information about that very very shortly. Uh, Tony, some news coming out today. Um, DDP. Now we did announce on our website the other day. Uh, DDP was hospitalised. Um, and now today we've released the news just on our website. Rather seeing them before we on the air. Um, the DDP has been released, and we'll put up some photographs as well of DDP in hospital. Uh, I'm trying to pronounce the name of what he actually has. I think it's something to do, something to do with his throat. Um, I'm not obviously a medical person, but DDP in hospital. That's actually quite shocking. He, you know, I think Vince McMahon is poisoning these wrestlers. They seem to be coming <laughs> back and disappearing or taking sick. You know, he would have appeared at the Royal Rumble, now he's in the hospital. Ultimate Warrior appeared on Raw and... You know, no, don't even him. go there. You know what happened to him? <laughs> I think Vince is taking it out on all these old guys. It's not very nice. <clears throat> well, the good news is he's out of hospital. Yes. That's the main thing. Um, you want to read, read more on the story, a bit more about the, the, the condition that he had, go to our website, outsideropesradio.com. Um, all the information's on there. Uh, Monday Night Raw tonight, Tony. I know we're going to be watching it together tonight. Um, we did release the breaking news there in the last hour or so on our website. Uh, Sting to address Triple H tonight on Raw. Is it going to happen before Fastlane? If it is, it'll be on a screen, as we were talking about our, our, about five, ten minutes ago. You know, it'll be on a screen. I can't see him actually being there live and in person. <coughs> His next appearance live and in person will be at Fastlane, mm -hmm. I reckon. Okay. Um, well, we'll keep it obviously. We'll be talking to you guys tonight on the show, uh, or during the show tonight, sorry, on our Twitter feed. Um, get involved outside the rope. Um, 
An orbit announced, announced today, Tony, as well. Vince McMahon to make big changes to the WrestleMania 31 main event. Never talked about this last week. Apparently now they're talking about maybe a triple threat match for this match at, at, at WrestleMania. Would you be surprised? No, not really. I think it should be just a one. You know, it'll be the same as last year. The last year's main event was a triple threat match. Why, you know, I would like to see just Roman Reigns v Brock Lesnar. I think that would be an awesome match. Why throw Daniel Bryan in there? They'll both just eat him. You know, he's tiny. It's going to look... So basically you say he got his ass whooped like he did last year in the yeah. triple threat against Batista Norton? Yeah. But it'll more likely it'll be like last year as well and he'll come out on top, But which I think is a bit stupid like, but that'll probably happen. Mm, okay. Um, Raw tonight is going... Well, there's been no matches announced so far for Raw tonight, so I don't know what they're going to be doing. Um, but regarding uh, talent, we've got some more news as well broke today, and well, this past weekend. Uh, Bo Dallas and Randy Orton returned to... In ring action this past weekend at live events. I don't understand that. Why are they appearing at live events but not on well, Raw? Well, Bo's been injured and he, you know, he's trying to come back from an injury, which is, you know, you'd rather have him do a couple of live events to get him ready for uh, TV. Well, that's quite true. May, but there's Orton's not injured, but he's appearing at live events and stuff, and he's not on Raw or SmackDown. Speaking of Bo, he did make an announcement when he came out. He was booed out of the building. Um, one of the shows during the weekend there, and he was his whole promo was that he was out for 102 days with a big toe injury. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. Um, but apparently, from what we've heard, and we've obviously put the story up on our website as well, uh, Randy Orton hasn't lost a beat, and he's looking in phenomenal shape, and he looks well rested, and he's ready to come back to TV. Be good to see him turn up tonight on Raw. I think it'll be quite interesting. Mm. So be very true. Uh, also, some quick news as well. Tommy Dreamer, Kevin Nash, and RBD are the currently are apparently filming some movies at the moment. Um, Kevin Nash, I'm not surprised RBD's already been in a movie before, but Tommy Dreamer, very surprised to hear about that. Yeah, I've never ever seen Tommy Dreamer, and I don't even really think he's ever made a film. Well, apart from Beyond the Mat. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, but. Yeah, it'd be quite interesting. Yeah, but what it says here, RVD apparently is in reportedly, sorry, in, in Florida at the moment, uh, filming some type of shark movie. Um, mm -hmm. and Tommy Dreamer, Kevin Nash, been reportedly filming scenes this week in Connecticut for an independent film called Blue Line. Now, I don't know any more about it, but we're going to try and find out more information about it. But at the end of the day, for Kevin, they're still getting work out to the ring. Yeah, you know, Kevin and I, they're, they're getting quite old now, they need to do something. Mm -hmm. other than wrestle yeah and our news as well we put a wee thing up on our website there yesterday if you want to go back over and have a wee read on it uh, Chris Jericho does an interview um, with Bill Apters uh, we'll put the video up on our website as well uh, we'll see he talks about Wrestlemania what matches he would book as well it's a very good interview and I know you haven't seen it yet but I've watched it through and it's quite good um, go to our website at roastradio.com you can actually see the interview with Chris Jericho and Bill Apters from the other day he just talks about basically Tony about the matches he would book for Wrestlemania and more um some interesting matches there. Now, everybody was talking about the, the, the Stone Cold podcast last week. China made a couple of videos about it as well. Um, now, China, there's news about China today. She announced yesterday, well, two or two, three days ago, um, that she was getting married. But then she announces today that apparently she's had three mar marriage proposals and she's deciding who she's going to marry. <laughs> you look shocked. Who in the blue hell would want to marry that? <laughs> that is one ugly looking woman. That's horrible. I thought she looked like a man back in the. You know, when she first came in? Yeah, you know, whenever she was built like a man. But now she just looks <coughs> horrible. What happened there? No idea. But yeah, uh, China's been making some new headlines over the last few days. And also, I watched this morning uh, at home uh, Vince Russo's rant defending Joni. I know he's all over China, right? Over his journey as well. Uh, about her career, about WWE burying her and all that there, jazz. But uh, we'll keep an eye on her. China with three marriage proposals. I, I don't know. Crazy. But go, let's go back to Raw tonight. There's, I forgot to mention it. Actually, there's going to be a Hall of Fame announcement tonight. Well, on the website there it says who's next. Gilbert. We'll go into the Hall of Fame, I think. Go oh, away. There's, there's an NXT special tomorrow as well, hosted by Corey Graves. You, you're a fan of Corey Graves. Are you a fan of Corey Graves? Yeah, I just like his tattoos and the way he looks. I thought he had a really good look. I think him. he's quite a good announcer. Yeah, he is. I th and even in the ring, I thought he was quite good. He had the look. He had you know his move set down and everything. He was quite good. But he is a quite good announcer as well. Mm, indeed. Uh, 
so yeah, that's tomorrow night on the WWE Network. Uh, you still haven't got the WWE Network, you know where to get it. It's priced at £9.99 in the UK and $9.99 in America. And in Ireland? It's what amount of what? 12 euro. <laughs> really? 12 euro. They're screwed. That's <laughs> not fair. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Um, well, our bit of final news before we head off the road here tonight. Uh, Ex WWE star wanting to work with WWE again, party Mark Murrow. Uh, has stated in a recent interview that he would love to go back and work for WWE in some capacity. Mark Barrow, well, not, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect him to be back in the ring again, would he? Hopefully not. That guy was... I actually liked him whenever he first came into it as the whole wild man gimmick, but then he changed into a boxer and he just looked stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> but um, going back to tonight's Raw, Tony, uh, are you expecting any big surprises tonight? Nah, I think it'll be just a normal standard show. Okay, but we'll, we'll be uh, reviewing it tomorrow. Well, I'll be reviewing it because I know you'll not be here tomorrow, but I'll be here, as always, on my own, in the studio. I'm only kidding. Ah, well. You might as well live here. That's... No, this, this, this can't help it. Um, but yes, come back to Raw tonight. If you want to get in touch with us on Raw tonight, you can certainly do it. It's very simple. You can talk to us on our Twitter feed, which we always are on every Monday night. Um, you've been sitting beside me sometimes when we're back at my home with the phone, the iPads going daft all night throughout Raw. Yeah, I'm like trying to sleep and all I hear is this beeping and... Sleeping? Oh. You're sitting watching the show? Yeah, sometimes it bores me, you know, whenever it went through that really bad phase where it was boring me. I was trying to sleep and then you're an iPad. Get away, I'm turn Cat turned his mic off. <laughs> and for people who've just tuned in for the first time and don't know who Cat is, Cat is our head of production. She's here every she's, day. She, she's the Muppet that tries to run this place, but <laughs> fails at everything she tries to do. Uh, I've I seen her having the word with you earlier on, telling you she was actually glad to see you actually getting the mobile phone and actually yeah. was not stuck in 1995. Yeah. I give her a bin full of all these written words she gave me over the last while, and I was just <laughs> full of them, so I handed it back to her. So yeah. <coughs> You're desperate. Uh, moving away, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy our Raw tonight. Um, don't forget, we're back on the air tomorrow. Uh, I'll be here on my own tomorrow, giving you the, obviously all the results from Raw tonight and some new stories of the day. Um, you want to give us a follow on Facebook too as well. I keep forgetting about our Facebook page, Outside the Road Wrestling Talk Show. And don't forget to check out our friends, Wrestling's Past. And if you want to go onto our website as well, if you live in Ireland at all, uh, you can check out all our good friends on our website as well. Uh, I'm plugging our website quite a bit tonight because I know because it's only new. So I'm trying to get as many people along to it as possible. So, as the weeks go by, the website will get better, and, you know, we'll be adding more content as it goes along. So, uh, in closing, this, I know it's a very, really short and sweet episode because we're only on daily, but um, anything, anything at all you're looking forward to tonight on Raw? You're looking forward to seeing any confrontations or anything at all stand out for you tonight? I just want to see Roman Reigns knock somebody out. <laughs> <laughs> or, or a spear on the big show again, that was awesome. Okay, guys, when we go back on the air tomorrow night, it'll be back to normal and it'll be sensible. This clown will not be here. I'm not a clown. Don't call me doink. Now you look like him. It's jockstrap. Anyway, we're going to head on into tonight here, guys. Thank you very much for downloading us on iTunes, Speaker, or on our website, wherever it is you're listening to us on. Thank you very much for listening to us. We all hope you enjoy Raw tonight. Uh, keep checking out all our information on our site for all the latest news and ongoings as well. And I did promise we shout out to the guys at the Fly in Belfast. They're holding a big event for fans, uh, which includes food, drink, um, obviously good prices for alcoholic beverages as well. And they're showing the WWE Fastlane event in Belfast. Go to our Twitter account and go to our website. You'll find all the information on there as well regarding the event. And hopefully Outside the Ropes will be heading along that because we have been speaking to them. And we're hoping to get along to that event as well. Do you Tony? reckon they have the WWE Network or will they watch it on like Sky Sports? One of the bars, so the license, so they put the pay by box office. That's not fair. I won't watch it on network, cause then you can watch the pre-show and stuff, and then the, you know. Well, I don't know what they're gonna do, but we're gonna try and get along to that yes. anyway, cause we have been talking to him a bit, going along and doing our um podcast, our our pre WWE pay per view podcast. It'd be good to like mingle with other people as well and have ask fans yeah. questions. Yeah, that'd be quite good. Yeah, definitely, hundred percent. Right, we're definitely going next, we've been told. Exactly. Enjoy Royal tonight, guys. We will see you all tomorrow at the same time. So, from tomorrow, or from myself and Tony in the studio.
I will see you when I see you. Wednesday. It could be Wednesday, or it could be Thursday, or it could be Friday. You never know. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's ridiculous. I, I have to do this all myself. I'm giving, I'm giving up. Anyway, we'll see you all tomorrow uh, for another edition of Outside the Rope. So until then, enjoy Raw, and we'll see you all tomorrow.